Hi everyone, Tracy Evans here, welcome. I'll be popping by a couple of times a month uh, to demonstrate uh, dyes from the craft stash. Um, I'll be demonstrating a couple of simple techniques and today we're actually using the It's Your Birthday die and Bird on a Branch die. If you'd like any of the products from craft stash, their website is www.craftstash.co.uk Today we'll be making this card with a few simple techniques which I'll run through now. First of all you need a piece of white card, mine measures 4 inches by 6 inches. If you want that in centimetres that's 10.1 centimetres by 15.2 centimetres. We begin by spritzing the background of the card. We're using distress inks um, so they're reactive with water and I actually like the blended look that you get. We then take Salty Ocean Distress Ink, roll the brayer over the ink, and then roll the brayer lightly over your card. Obviously if you want more colour then you can apply more colour with the brayer. Um, I actually want that soft, subtle look. Dry the ink with your heat tool. around the outside with a bit of kitchen roll. So we've dried that. And I want a touch of red. So I'll just spritz very lightly and bray the bray it over the ink pad. And now you want a very light touch of red. You don't want too much red. And then again dry with the heat tool. Whilst I was brayering uh, my card and actually making the first sample, I actually brayered a separate piece of card uh, and I added more red, more of the candied apple to that piece and then I actually die cut my pieces from the, the brayered piece of card. Now obviously if you want to add more red to that then you can just literally bray it straight over the die cut piece. The die cut pieces actually come out of the card really simply. Um, and what we need to do is literally adhere that to the left, to the right hand side. I can't get my left from my right. The right hand side of the card. Use whatever adhesive. And of course, my adhesive is now. If you leave this adhesive lying down, then it literally stays clear. It, it doesn't bung up. But I keep forgetting to leave my. It's a habit. I keep standing it up. Then place your die cut piece to the right hand side. Now to make that pop, like we've done in the, fir in the first sample, I've used an old lid. Uh, this is something I got from a vintage shop, but you can use the lid from a jam jar, anything you like. And I'm using Deco Art Media Carbon Black. But obviously any black paint will do. And then literally dip your finger into the paint and apply the paint around your lid or whatever circular implement you're using and then press the lid around your focal image that just gives it a spotlight um, and makes it pop from the background obviously if you wanted to you could literally draw black pencil around the around the die cut piece and that would make it pop even more. Just get rid of the, the black paint which seems to get everywhere. Right I then need to add the we'll dry the paint first just a little so that we don't touch that. And then we'll pop the happy birthday sentiment. to the left hand side. Then I did a touch more black paint to the non stick craft sheet, just a touch of water. And then 
and take a wet paintbrush and literally flick a couple of drops of black splatters around the background and then dry with a heat tool. That paint just pops and is a contrast towards the rest of the uh, of the ink, the ink colours. In the original card, I've then added that to black card, which again makes the design pop. So you then add that to the black card, just leaving a narrow border around the outside. And that's it. I've literally die cut another beard and then I've literally cut the beard from the branch and added that to the inside of the card just for an added detail. Another top tip, um, if you use the die cut pieces from the braid piece that you did early, earlier, you can actually sponge colour through the aperture and then you'll have a stenciled beard on your card. Thanks very much for popping by. If you want any more details, um, they will appear on my blog. I'll actually do a blog post for the card just to do it in more detail. And my blog post, my blog address is www.crafthaddicks-tracyevans.blogspot.co.uk. Thanks for popping by. Bye.